these days, disinfectant wipes are almost as valuable as gold. And really, if you're looking to clean off your smartphone, which you should be doing, especially when you're going out into the world and then coming back to your house, disinfectant wipes are one of the only options that people think of. However, there are many reasons that you should not use these on your phone. One, they are wet, and if you don't have a waterproof phone, then you run the risk of damaging your phone. Another thing is, if you don't have a screen protector on your phone, you risk wearing off the oleophobic coating that is on your screen. So what are you to do if you want to clean your phone? Enter the Phone Soap Go. Hello, I am Wanderer001, and this is my review of the Phone Soap Go. This is a UVC light box for killing germs and bacteria. Now, according to Phone Soap's Go website, you will be killing 99.9% nine percent of germs just like those disinfectant wipes now i will say i have been looking at devices like this for a long time but never got around to actually getting one well in the year 2020 it felt like a great year to just take that extra precaution to see if this would actually help kill bacteria and and stuff on my phone because well you just don't want that on your phone one of the main things that i came across when researching Phone soap in particular is the track record or how long they've been around. There are a lot of other companies coming out with things kind of like this or wands. A lot of those people are coming around just to take advantage of the current market that we're in. Phone soap has been around since 2012 when they were running a Kickstarter for their original phone soap. And then for those of you who follow Shark Tank, in 2015, they were on Shark Tank. So you know that this has been around for a while and that it has a good track record and they're not trying to take advantage of the pandemic. With that being said, the box itself is not a lot to look at. At the top here, you've got four little LED indicator lights and a lightning bolt. This is how you actually actuate the device. Now you don't have to press on the lightning bolt to get it to work, you just simply tap it and that lets you know that blue light means that, that the UVC lights inside are actually on. Tap it again and it turns off the lights inside. You can see at the top there, those are still lit because, well, if you want to find out how much battery is left in this, because that is the main thing with the Phone Soap Go, is it is a portable UVC light. Unlike their other products that plug right in and have to remain plugged in, this is meant for travel. Now, in my case, I got it because, well, yes, it's nice if it can travel, but I also don't have to worry about a cable. My thing with this is because it's battery operated, I could put it wherever I want and then just move it to charge it and then put it back to where I want. So I'm not limited by an electrical outlet, which might be something you would be considering. Now, we're gonna skip the external dimensions only because the important part that you care about is actually the inside. How big is this and will it fit my phone? And I can't blame you because that's the important part. Well, you're looking at 6.8 inches in length with a width of 3.74 inches with a depth of 0.78. So in my case, my Pixel 2, I can place it right in there and it closes just fine. So those internal dimensions will be important to you to figure out if this will fit your phone. Now, as I stated before, you have two UVC lights, one on the top, one on the bottom, and it is reflective. So that's how you get full coverage. That's the other thing. If you're gonna be using disinfectant wipes on your phone, you, you really gotta cover the phone and it just, it becomes a sloppy mess. Uh, so for me personally, when I was researching this, I did not know, and I'm just letting you know, just in case there actually is a piece of glass on both the top and bottom. So you're not actually resting your phone directly on the lights. That was one of my big concerns. I'm like, how does that possibly work? Will phones hit these plastic things? And then, no, there is a piece of glass here and a piece of glass at the top. You'll also notice that there is a cutout over here. Well, that is because you can charge a phone while in the box. So there actually is a cutout here on the side, which you can have your phone in the box, getting sanitized, and still charge it, whether that be using a power brick, which I have a bunch of power bricks over there, or the Phone Soap Go can charge your phone for you. The Phone Soap Go has a 6,500 milliamp battery, which can, for most phones, unless you have like those really big phones, uh, will get about four charges based on the company's website, and you will get 45 sanitation cycles with the battery at full charge. Now, I did test and see how many cycles I could get. I got 44-ish, so it's really close to what they said. I'm not gonna actually charge my phone off of this, but I wanted to see how many cycles I could get off of a full battery. Now, when that battery is fully depleted, it does take four and a half hours to charge with the included 
cable. And I do appreciate that they, they label it as the Phone Soap Go cable. I thought I would have to label it. So here you got you have your power connector right there and your USB. Now we'll take advantage of this to close the Phone Soap Go and spin it around to talk about the back. So the back here, you have your output for charging a cell phone that is being sanitized. You have a USB-C input output. However, it really just seems like it is an output. It does not seem like it's an input. I could not get it to actually input power. And then here you have your power input. My small complaint about the power input is that the board that it sits on itself, when plugging in the cable, it does not sit super snug, so it kind of wiggles around a little bit there. It's a small consideration. The other consideration is output of the USB and the USB-C. Because if you're gonna use this to charge, you wanna know how well these actually work. So if you're using the USB, you're gonna get 4.7 volts out or 1.40 amps. If you're using the USB-C, you're gonna get slightly better. I will flash some information up on the screen here so you can make an informed decision on yourself. Again, I did not primarily get this so that I can charge devices. I wanted to get it to sanitize my devices. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna flip it to the front here because there's nothing really to look at on the front or the sides. The side uh, where the cable sticks out, if we tap it so that it turns on, I uh, can't really see with the camera, but if you're in a dark room, that little rubber flap there, you can kinda see turns blue. For me, I wanted to make sure that this actually did work when it was shut. So here you can see I actually took an endoscope and I ran it into the device and turned it on. So you can see the lights are on. You can kind of see what it looks like in there while your phone is getting a suntan, which is the best way that I can describe this. So when my wife and I come home from work, we throw our phones in here. It takes a 10 minute cycle to fully clean your device that you put in here, and then you can take it out. If you happen to open, the phone soap go while it is in a cycle. Do not worry because UVC light is very dangerous to eyes and human skin. If you tap it to start and open it, it actually turns off right away. So here you can see a demonstration of that with the endoscope in there. So you won't have to worry about small hands opening this up and hurting themselves, which is very important. Coming across to the bottom here, you will notice that there are a lot of cutouts. These cutouts are actually so that you can hear notifications if your phone is in here cooking or sun tanning. So here's an audio demonstration of random music that I had playing on my phone, put it in the device, and you'll be able to hear how well it sounds. Now the bottom is also where I have another small gripe. There are little rubber footies to help keep it in place. I do wish that these were a little more substantial because if it is on its surface and you're trying to open this one handed because there is a magnet here and on the top, it, it can't really be done one handed. I would really like it if I could just open that one handed instead of you know having to juggle my phone and then put in that. I, again, I realize that it is a small, small concern with something like this but just data point for you to consider. Normally, I would do more extensive testing where I would do actual culture tests on my phone and present the information for you here, but considering it is 2020 and I am not taking that kind of chance, up in the right-hand corner there, you will see a playlist of other videos that I found going as far back as five years that were doing culture tests on phone using phone soap to demonstrate that it actually did kill bacteria and germs, which is, again, the main reason that you are getting this. You are getting this to clean your phone. I know the, the name phone soap just sounds like a really weird connotation to be a UVC killing light box. I'm not gonna go into the science behind the UVC killing. If you wanna find the science behind that, you can go to their website. Think of this more of a technical demonstration uh, so that if you decide that UVC killing light box is what you're looking for and phone soap is what you were considering, these are the technical side of things that you can look at with this type of box. And then over in the corner, like I said, the scientific demonstration of if it will actually kill bacteria. And lo and behold, it does. So that's why I ended up picking up one. There are some things that I wish 
phone soap did a little differently. Like I wish that these lights here were a countdown timer while my phone was in here getting its sun bath. Uh, this way, you know, I could look over and be like, oh, it's got this much time done. Cause sometimes I just throw it in there and I forget. Uh, so especially at the end, uh, when it was at 44 ish, uh, cycle, it, I didn't realize that it was ending sooner than it should have. And if, uh, those dots up there were like a countdown timer, it would have helped me know that it didn't get a full cycle. So the big question, how much does the phone soap go cost? Well, it's, it's a hundred dollars. They seem to keep most of their UV sanitation boxes about the same price. However, Phone Soap Go also comes with a kind of soft shell carrying case. So if you wanted to take this along with you, you can pop it in here and you'll be good to go. I do wish uh, that since it is a proprietary charging cable that does not come with a wall wart, so you will have to provide your own. I do wish that the carrying case did have a little place that you could put that. Aside from those little gripes, again, in the current world that we're living in, you really, should consider something like this. As I stated before, I got this one, not because I'm traveling right now, but because I wanted to have the ability to put this where I wanted. Hopefully you found the technical demonstration and display of Phone Soap Go helpful in some way, shape or form in helping you make an informed purchasing decision. With that being said, I have been Wanderer 001. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the area below. And as always, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, consider giving it a like as that will help other people find the video as well. If you like what I'm doing here, you can always help fuel the next review by buying me a coffee, link in the description below. Last but not least, if you want to be notified when I upload a new video, you know what to do.